introduction to a project folder that is called chipmunk underscore project. We have a Houdini folder set up. You will be provided with scene files that would correspond with the number to a widow. In textures, we have for a chipmunk, here we have maps provided for skin and a tiff maps for fur procedural control and we also have the masks that we are using to drive a fur procedural coloring so they are all converted from exrs to rat they are all technical raw data files except the color texture for skin that is in accg here we have hdr folder that will be used in our look dev tool what you need to do take your own hdrs or for example you can search for free hdr one of them is hdr haven so here you can find lots of different hdrs and maybe some of those would be good for you so the process to set up the tool be next let's pick up this one so we will download that i already pre-downloaded some of them that you will see later i will copy all of those and put them in a project here in this folder so now in houdini we have uh, this scene that is called introduction to project hdrs and we have a simple sphere and then we will drop out our look the tool and we will unlock that tool unlock and this pink color says that the hdr HDRs are missing. So here on the side we have uh, cops and if we go inside we are loading here one of the HDRs from the project. You can see it here and then we have another one sunny and studio and let's import let's also import the other one Control c Control v so we will go here and pick up this one what we downloaded what is important here is that you set up from default that it says auto to set up to use open color io and then from the drop down menu pick up a linear rec 79 srgb that would be the linear srgb where these hdrs and here we will set up the output and we will just set up uh, they are all in 8k as you can see we download them at 8k so if you have them in a different resolution it would be good to have them 8 4 and 2k 2k is good when you are working because they are loading quite fast you will see that later where the 8k are more for final renders so the output here needs Needs to be also set it up to from default value that is auto detect from file to set up to open color io and then pick up here accg because we will render them in and use them in accg again if you are working in srgb you don't need to do this color conversion at all you can just bake them into red and set up the same color space here it's always good to be exact uh, then let out to decide so here we are saving this one so this one is called let's actually name that correctly so this one control c control v it goes in 2k and we are setting up the resolution here one quarter you can see the preview of the resolution there this one is half and then this one here is a natural resolution so it is its own resolution that comes from the top node so now when we set up all our four hdrs to go into corresponding uh, folders we can select all of those and set render so now when they are all exported we go and check in these folders we will see all of them converted to rat and to accg and here also the 4k and 2k first thing what you want to do is to go here and say for example let's start with exterior grab this path that's exterior so go here go here replace 
this part with that HDR and what you will get immediately is that HDR projecting on the ground and you can see that it doesn't match what is on the ground so this is the next step that we need to do is go inside switch this to a white go out disable this one and the spheres and then look through the camera white and then snap that click twice to pick up the render view pick up the picker and measure these values then you need to write those values down the next step would be turning off that switch back so we can see the render turn on those guys go and look on the side like this and then add that energy here and now we can see when we extracted the energy from the HDR texture that is projected it has a proper color and then you would repeat all that for the other ones so we also have for look dev tool we have a color checker that is also in accg converted to rat at the beginning when you open melanin for a layer camera karma fur light rig all these are not containing chipmunk but when you come to layout render setup groom melanin layers and presentation setup you will need to bake some files to have that all working properly so what that means the first step that you need to do is to go to object and cache out this dynamics so you will see here on the end caching you need to check this box and then save to disk and then he will go one frame by one from 1001 to 1175 and cache out the dynamics of guides the same for this one the tail same for this one whiskers after that is done then you will be able to speed up a little bit your workflow but still you will have your your groom dynamically created for every frame if you move the frame so the next step would be going to stage and actually baking your usd so you would just go here and press save to disk and then it will bake the usd that's actually linked with this one here with the expression because i already i have that file here baked it is in a geo user render but this file right now has a 31 gigabyte and it's not easy to be provided over internet to be downloaded so you can do the baking yourself that will give you possibility to load through this branch because the switch is set to zero the curves and start rendering with no problem what is also important to mention that you will see that this looking the references this chipmunk is not fully done so the demonstration here shows you how to come to the first rotation first pass of your character observe what you have in final Final renders make notes and starts doing adjustments so you have a good starting position with the textures but they need lots of work and lots of details that is left to you to improve and post your results in a forum and show what you have good luck